Hey guys, this is the second, second, second whatever. We are going in for thank you watch today. And yeah, this is 4.30 p.m. And we are about to do this. <laughs> Welcome to my side of the internet. I'm Kamaja Centric Diva, and on this channel, we talk about everything ranging from books, writing, publishing, sex, and sex education. And today, as the title suggests, I am gunning for 10,000 words today. I, I, do, I don't have any number of hours I want to put in, I just want to see what I actually would do. And this old thing started from one I have couple of projects i need to finish before the end of 2021 to yesterday i was willing to go for 5k and i did that within two hours from what i documented so i did the maths if i did two hours for seven minutes 5k words and that was me just you know lazing around like what would i do if i decide to put my mind to it bear in mind that i've written 20k words before in a day and i can't really tell you how that went but yeah i have some writing friends that will be joining me so just watch and enjoy let's see if we did it so we're going for the first sprint in a few minutes so we'll start slow we'll start with 15 minutes maybe two 15 minutes then i'll do it 30 minutes and let's just see writing sprints let's do this Oh, if you haven't subscribed, now is the time for you to do that. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Help us grow this channel. Thank you very much. So, yes, I was actually expecting a package that actually has been helping me so far with my writing sprint and even helping me full course. So stay tuned at the end of this video to actually see what that package is or was. And then let's go straight into this because I am going to be teaching you how I write faster and how I stay productive and focused. So first things first, what are writing sprints? Writing sprints are short lapses or short time which you give yourself to be extra productive, ignoring any form of distraction. And then you take a break to do that distraction then come back and focus on that segmented time. So writing sprints, for example, yeah, I would do a 15 minutes, like focus, just write anything anybody even if the world is shaking and it's crumbling down i won't shake but after that 15 minutes i can do any other thing for the next five minutes then i return back to the project so you can do like a sprint of 15 minutes writing five minutes break or 25 minutes writing five minutes or 10 minutes break it's left to you it's flexible but you make sure that once the sprint starts you are focused you're not looking left and right you're not you know or you're like you, 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 are, you are setting yourself up to write. Then you can see that I am actually talking to myself. Literally talking to myself here. This is how I write faster. I speak or I call out my dialogues. Especially for my first drafts. I just speak. I talk. I use the Google Voice if I'm using Google Docs to write. Or I make use of the Microsoft Dictator to do this. So I just voice out what i'm thinking what the character is saying then the reason why i type on my keyboard is because over the years i learned that if i leave the voice to just go like that i will come back to that document and i'll be confused as to what did i say here so what i do is that i voice out the document and in between because it can't capture whatever you say like 100 percent is not usually 100 percent clear and if you look at whatever you voice or think about and you just say it sometimes you know it doesn't make sense so you just have to go back in there and clean it up make it make sense so maybe the spelling is not right or i said walk and it's typed um w o l some sorry i mean w a l k instead of w o r k so we all have our accent issues and all that so that's the main reason why i do that then Yes, to write this or to, to do use this method I use in writing, you actually need to have your document outlined. If not, you are going to be completely lost. Like, 
hundred percent lost. I believe this is not something a pantser would actually embark on. Mm -mm, not at all. It is more suitable for someone who plans ahead, who has an idea of what they want to write. So I think pantsers can actually use this method. You just need to have an idea of what you want to write for that particular chapter. So you know all your voicing out and what you're dictating is related to you know the expectations for that scene the goal the character arc and all that comes and in between so that is and this is a great way where i write my document in which i use in writing my document so i mainly use this when i'm doing my first drafts because when it's time to go back into the document to edit voicing is not the best way to go and yeah I, I, in between when we take breaks, I talk to my other, um, sprinters because writing is actually a lonely journey. I will keep hammering this thing until everybody understands that if you want to become a writer, it's not for the week actually. So yeah, I, I, I have like a team of ladies I do it with because we all need encouragement once in a while from time to time. So, um, yeah, I, I, in between take breaks i do we do we do 45 minutes then sometimes i decide to reduce it if i'm feeling sleepy or tired i do 15 minutes if i feel yes i really want to get into this chapter i might do 30 minutes or 45 minute sprint so like i said i don't edit like fully fully edit but i just edit the words i have said and make it make sense so that by the time i'm going back into the document it actually is making sense to me and i can easily run through it so yeah that that that's all for now 30 minute sprint i started but i just needed to make this in between video to show you how far i've gone and so far for today we've done over 2000 words within an hour 15 Although it's lower than yesterday, like if you compare the average word per hour, but yeah, we're making progress. So we're going on a 30 minute sprint. Let me join them before I waste all the time in the world. <laughs> Writing for one hour, 15 minutes doesn't actually mean I only wrote for one hour, 15 minutes. In between that one hour, 15 minutes, there's the breaks I have taken. Then we did not write just straight up as well too. I also take breaks like oh i'm coming i want to do something i'll be right back so the breaks could actually be longer but the most productive time so far from 10 a.m up until now has actually been one hour full straight writing like i said i'm going to link this i don't know if i've mentioned it yet but i'm going to link the um website where i downloaded this tracker and it's actually very 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 useful because you track everything, your focus, what you're doing, what um, the, the the word count, how many minutes you wrote for the day, like everything is just on point. So yeah, this is just me voicing at the same time typing. I, I found that I enjoy voicing my dialogues, which make my books actually very witty and dialogue-y because it's the words just flow because it's like you're having real conversations with yourself or the characters are just you know projecting themselves out that way and you're enjoying yourself while you write another thing i actually love about um my voice in my books is that my thumbs my fingers they easily and they quickly ache me i don't know i feel this weird pain and i don't want to have copper tunnels or copper tunnels or whatever it is called i am too young to be experiencing that so the voicing actually helps me reduce the amount of um, finger usage i use on the keyboard or my devices and it also it saves me from just you know da -da 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 -da, all day every time every second that is one of the main reasons why i actually love voicing my books again yeah that's the physical reason <laughs> but yeah let me let me know from your end like how do you write faster what makes you you know write faster this video is still we still have like some time to go i'm also going to be sharing more things in between i think i just got the message about my package but we're going to check it out soon
yeah remember to always hydrate while writing don't forget to have snacks on the side or tea or whatever type of um, stuff you actually take have your drink on the side because you can get carried away so far i've been able to do 3000 plus words and i'm not happy actually but i guess maybe i'm not just a morning writer maybe i'm more of an evening slash night writer because same thing happened yesterday i wrote more words like than i did during the morning period so i'm just going to take a nap then after that we resume this business Ten thousand words today and we are going in for it yeah this is i think this is two two twenty or two ten yeah hands taking up but i'm loving the flow of the direction of the story everything is making sense everything is journaling the ladies i'm writing with they are awesome <laughs> yeah quick shout out to maggie smart author and rosemary okafo they're my partners in crime today <laughs> So, like I said, I've not written much. Like, if you compare what I did yesterday versus today, mm, I can actually do better. Though, like I said, if you look at the timing, let's see which one does that. I think the graphs should do that. No, I think the analytics, I believe. Yeah, the analytics graph should do that so let's check it on the big screen comparing what i did yesterday and what i'm currently doing it seems as though i was placing too much pressure on myself although now as time has you know gone i realized i'm more of an evening writer than a morning writer because I tend to have more focus in the evening. During the morning time, as you can see from the graph, if you look towards like focus versus time, you notice that I actually focus more from 5 p.m. thereabouts. Why? Because I have less messages coming in. I have less admin stuff to deal with. And I am more, in quotes, kind of relaxed. I've eaten most of the meals I want to eat for that day. I've cooked, I've done everything. So for you, you have to find out the time of the day you are actually more focused that would actually give you more word count. Because when I compare, when I compare my sprints, the numbers I get during my evening sprint to the numbers I get during my morning sprint, I actually get more numbers in, in the evening than in the morning. Hey guys, this is the second, second, second whatever. We are going in for thank you watch today. And yeah, this is 4.30 p.m. And we are about to do this. <laughs>
yeah this is going to be the third break for the day third or second break for the day and so far we've actually done a lot a lot i must say my friend i check this out this is today so far we've done six thousand words and this is just 750 this is 8 p.m actually we've taken a break yeah and we'll be right back let's go and eat man can i just walk and walk alone i got this package from Amazon, and it's a timer and a stopwatch makes very loud noise <laughs> but it's actually helpful and that's what i've been using ever since and it has actually increased my productivity this is not an ad i don't even know the company i bought it from but i got it from amazon and yes it helps me keep track of my time i can see clearly what i am doing how many minutes left so you know when like using my phone or using like the google countdown timer this is actually way better I think it's actually kids in school that use this stuff like teachers and kids in school they use the time themselves for tests and all that but yes yeah, so to, to getting productivity tools like this actually would help you work better work smarter to also make you feel bougie kind of <laughs> and to also keep you from being distracted by your phone i can't tell you the amount of times that i actually you know decided to check my phone because I wanted to check how many minutes left and then i got a little mini bit carried away by social media but another thing i used to do on my phone for those of us that might not be able to access this is that i set my phone to focus mode so it doesn't give me any alert when i get new messages or what have you so it's just me and the desktop <sighs> It's actually not up to 24 hours, but I started writing around 10 a.m. today, and this is 10 p.m. while I'm shooting this video. And I've completed the book I wanted to write, so the goal was either to write 10 words or complete the first draft of this novel, of which I'm done with the first draft. So I'm proud of me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What I would love to do actually would be to write like maybe an extra, let's see, an extra 1,500 words. But I think the document is fine as it is. Um, leaving this document and I'm starting something new tomorrow. I hope I have this much energy <laughs> for tomorrow. What I'll be doing tomorrow will mainly be outlining slash refreshing next story i want to get into so by next week i am fully prepared yeah so thanks a lot for joining me on this journey it was fun if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you want to join my writing sprint and my writing sessions right now there's no structure but for now i'm literally writing every day because i really need to beat a lot of stuff this month this november so feel free to join us whatever time zone you're in and whenever we go live, you go live with us. It's actually a fun group. You learn a lot of stuff. You get a lot of insight from other authors. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Peace out.